Hey Google, turn it off. Hey guys, <laughs> it's Marilyn here. So today's video, I'm actually going to do a rhinestone. We're gonna cut a rhinestone template, but we're gonna go ahead and cut it on the Cricut Explore 3, which I got. Um, someone did request to cut the template on here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. It is a Halloween one and the design and tomorrow is Halloween. So it is three colors. So I'm going to show you how to cut multiple layers. Um, the rhinestone uh, uh, template material. However, I have this magic flock from the rhinestone world. It's the blue one that I've always used. However, I needed something rather quickly and there is a supplier probably about 20 minutes from my home. So I saw this and it actually looks like the magic flock. It feels like the magic flock, except it's in um, kind of like this corally pinkish color. So we're gonna do a test cut. I'm gonna do a test cut, but I don't have to put that on video. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna pull up the design show you how to separate it and send it to the Cricut. Once everything is cut, which I won't record because it'll probably take about an hour, maybe less because the Cricut Explorer 3 is actually really fast. So um, we're gonna go ahead and cut the material. We're gonna do the templates off of this new material here. Um, but it, again, it's the same thing as the Magic Flock. This is called Rocket or something like that. Um, but we're gonna do a three color Scary Pumpkin Rhinestone uh, design. Let's get started. All right, guys, so I have my canvas up here. I'm gonna go ahead and look for my file. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and upload it. Uh, let's see. Tax elements. Sure. We're going to hit continue. So as you can see, that looks kind of cool actually. You see the three layers right there. So we're going to go ahead and select it. And we're going to hit upload on the bottom of design space here. All right. And that would be this one here. All right, so as you can see, it's three templates, right? So the first thing that we need to do is we need to ungroup them. So you have one piece here, okay? Uh, then you have the second one there, and then we have the third one there. So I'm going to use, I believe, yellow, orange, and for his head, instead of doing black, well, I might do it in black. Um, this portion here, I could, yeah, I'm going to have to do that all in black. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. So now in order to find out if this is the correct size or not, right now, let me get a pointer. <laughs> so let's see. All right. Don't laugh at my pointer. I saw this online when I was looking up um, how to use some certain features in my car and um, somebody was using one of these pointers <laughs> for the car and I started cracking up and I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta have one of those. But as you can see, I put some bling anything material around the wrist. <laughs> All right, so right here is the width. That says 9.709 and the height is 8.044. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this and I just need to verify if this is the correct size. 971804. And because we have three different colors, all the templates are gonna be the same exact size because we do have to layer them on top of each other, this pointer. I can't. Um, so we have the correct size, um, 804 tall which is height, and then 9.71 in the width. Uh oh, where's my design? All right, so we have 9709 by 8.044. I'm just gonna adjust these just for my, my sanity. I'm gonna unlock that little lock right there, and then I'm going to adjust those accordingly to the size that um, is in, uh, in the Cricut uh, 
crafter file, so 971, and then just 8.04. I'm going to hit lock. All right, so that's the size we have for that. And we're going to do the same thing for uh, the rest of them. Unlock it, change that dimension, remove the four. We're just going to hit that. And now, and then the last one, which is this one. So we're going to unlock it again. <sighs> I've had this file since the beginning of October, and here I am doing it on October 30th. All right, so we're going to lock it. All right, so we have the three layers. All right, so we're going to go ahead and cut one, the first layer. Uh, we're going to hide these two. So this one here is obviously going to be black unless you wanted to do something a little different with this face color, but it is attached to the same um, uh, as a hat. Um, you could do brown, you could do black, or you could even do, I was thinking about doing purple, um, but I think I'm going to stick with black if I have enough rhinestones. It doesn't look like it's a whole lot anyway. So let's go ahead and hide that one. The next one is kind of like the highlight of the pumpkin. Um, that's minimal stones right there. And then the last piece is the majority of... <coughs> Uh-oh. Oh, design space. What can you say? Oops, I hit it. No wonder. Oh, but where is it now? There it is. It took a little while to load. Hmm, let's move this over. Okay. So this one's going to take the most um, rhinestones. So I'm going to see what I have in my stash. And then we'll turn on the Cricut Explore 3. And I'm going to do a little test cut on this material. But again, it's it looks identical to Magic Flock. It feels like Magic Flock. It's just in a pinkish coral color. So let me get my stash of rhinestones. All right, so for my rhinestones, these are Hot Fix Orange. They're kind of a dark orange. I don't really have a lighter color of orange for the highlight, which has the minimal rhinestones. I'm gonna go ahead and use yellow, I guess. Um, and then I have the black rhinestones for the face and the hat. So let's go ahead and set up the um, Explore 3 and we'll go ahead and start uh, looking at the settings and we're going to do a test cut. I'm going to do a test cut off camera and then I'll share the settings with you for the Cricut Explore 3. All right, so I have the uh, Rocket or Magic Flock, aka Magic Flock, um, on my mat here. Um, the only thing I didn't like from this other company that supplied this uh, uh, material is they, it, I guess it's sold in, in actual rolls um, of 20 inches. So they were selling by the foot 12 inches. So what they did is they took the 20 inch and cut it and the really, the I, I don't know, I ordered five or six feet. It's so wonky the way they cut it so it's kind of like eh, I don't even know in some sp spots if I'm even getting a full 12 inches across the way um, so I wasn't feeling that about this order but I'm gonna go ahead and cut it and then we'll go ahead and I'll share the settings with you we'll cut the first template of course that might take a little while but again the Cricut Explorer 3 is actually much faster than my original Maker and of course my original Explore Air so let me go ahead and see if this cuts the same. I don't want to do an entire um, template yet until I've tested the material and know that with the settings that I've already set for Magic Flock, that it's going to work on this material as well. So I'm going to show you. So right here, I need to cancel the cut, right? Um, so we got to go back up here, change it from the Maker to the Explorer 3. I have to disconnect it from my computer. Find the other plug. Um, connect it. All right, my machine is already on. Go back 
Okay, so we're on Explore 3, hit Make It. All right, and now I'm going to select on a mat because I do need to put that flock onto the sticky mat. Hit Done, and then Continue. Then this is where I have to set the materials. We want to save this. Why doesn't it give me the option to save? Okay. Off. Flock. 255. <gasps> it's not going to let me save it? All right. I'm going to have to figure this out and I shall return. So this is interesting. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's not going to let me save 255. So if I click on the plus, it gives me the option to save. However, if I want to take that one point off and I subtract it, it doesn't allow me to. And I'm not quite sure why. Um, perhaps there's another setting for 255 with the exact same um, I'll have to look into that later, but this is what I know right now, and I just want to get this thing started. So now we have to go back up all the way to the top to exit out of here. It's the weirdest thing. All right, so now we have to hit Browse Materials again. I'm going to go ahead and search for my flock. And I don't have my glasses on. There we go. So I want to choose the flock that I just created because I know those settings have worked for my Cricut Maker with the Blue Magic flock. We're going to hit default pressure. That's fine. I have a um, small, so this is what I created for my, my test. So as you can see, I'm going to zoom in real quick. Because the rhinestones are about 0.13, um, zero to five. I just made a little square with some circles in it to see how good that this cuts. So that's going to be my little test cut. And then hopefully if that works perfectly fine, then we get to proceed finally. Here we go. Let's see if the test cut works. All right. Oh, I'm definitely going to have to tape the side down so I don't. So that's that's actually really, really fast. Let's see how it cut. Oh, I think it cut out nicely. Let me put this um, tripod down. All right, let's see how this cut. I'm just going to remove the whole thing from the mat. And then, okay, let's see. Ooh. So this does, this definitely feels like the blue magic flock from um, TRW. All right, so it is, okay, Samsung, why aren't you working for me? 8.02, so we'll see how fast this template cuts. This one actually has the most circles, so I shall return once this one is complete, and then I'll just go ahead and move forward with cutting the other two templates. Here's another little thing that I noticed cutting on the Cricut Explorer 3. Um, it's th this has been at 100% now for um, a little over a minute and it's still cutting. So it's technically not at 100% because it's not done yet. It's still cutting and this much time plus about 20 seconds more because I didn't start the stopwatch right away. But when I did start it at 100%, and it's still cutting so that's odd the machine is much quieter and it is very fast however uh, you got your little your little hiccups but I shall return once this is finished
This is the first template still, so we're over three minutes after the 100%. Okay, fabulous, we're done. All right, guys, so here is the big reveal. We're gonna see if this um, sticky flock works just as good as the magic flock. Um, so far on the, um, the sample, it works just fine. So let's go ahead and peel this off. Awesome. All right, so we just have a few that are still sticking on here. Um, do we actually? I don't think we do. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. This is so nice. I'm extremely happy. Um, so this look, material looks like it works just as well as the Magic Flock. And I didn't have any of this left over. And I needed to do this kind of last minute. So I ordered it locally. So um, this is called Rocket. And it's called from it's from Specialty Graphics. And they are in, oh, there was one. Um, they're located, I believe, in Batavia or St. Charles. But it worked out perfect. I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting the other two templates. And then I'll show you how to layer the different colored rhinestones. All right, guys so the first thing you want to do is lay down your first template so I was gonna do the black rhinestones and I already did a pass and I picked them up with the hot fix tape but I did not like the quality of those rhinestones so I'm gonna go ahead with the Korean low lead rhinestones that I do have and you know what my pumpkins hat and its face is going to be in a tanzanite color because I do not have black. And the black that I do have, which I bought at a trade show, I'm not quite sure um, who I got them from, but these are not very good quality. And I laid it down already and put it on the hot fix tape and I'm like, no, this is, this is not good quality. So I'm not gonna use that. My pumpkin is just going to be tanzanite um, and then orange and we'll have a little bit of citrine in there as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're just going to go ahead and as in any other video, we're going to go ahead and pour these in. And then also when I was using the other black ones that have this really thick gray backing, when I was trying to brush those in, they actually weren't falling into the holes as nicely as this does. Um, and they weren't very, they're not sparkly at all. And what's the point of doing rhinestones if they're not going to sparkle, right? Now, these aren't the diamond cut, but um, I need to definitely restock my rhinestones. Um, but if you haven't seen the diamond cut, oh my God, they're absolutely gorgeous. Well, the diamond cut is actually what I have on top of my Cricut, which is my Cricut um, uh, lid and my rhinestone Cricut, cu uh, not Cricut cup, um, one of the wraps that I did. Um, I don't think I did a tutorial for that, but I did show it in a previous video of um, the diamond cut rhinestones. I mean, those are just amazing. And these are so pretty too. So I was like, okay, I don't have black rhinestones, but I'm not going to sacrifice the quality <laughs> of this pumpkin. So we're just gonna go ahead and make his face purple and sews his hat and I'm okay with that. I'm just wearing this one day out of the week. This is actually a shirt that I'm wearing to work because I do have to work on the weekends. And so, but it's so much prettier. And if you have one like that, that just kind of doesn't want to fall in, I have, and you can get yourself one of these. It's a little wax crayon. I'm not quite sure if the Rhinestone World sells these, but I love these. I have three and now I'm down to one. I don't know where the others went. So, we're going to go ahead and pick up the purple stones and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to layer the orange part of the pumpkin. So you want to just lean down eye level to the table and make sure you don't have any holes 
or any rhinestones that are flipped over or any that are extra that are uh, sitting on top of any other rhinestones. So I'm going to go ahead, get the hot fix tape. We'll pick this up and then we'll move on to the next step. Well, picking it up is actually the next step. All right, guys. So I have my hot fix transfer tape here. This is actually specific for rhinestones only. Um, I've verified that all my rhinestones are actually in a good place. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tape this down to, whoa, let's see here. I'm going to tape this down to my table first, and then I'm just going to pull it a little bit straight out, and then we're going to rub these stones onto the hot fix tape. Oh gosh, this looks so much better. Like if your rhinestones are sparkling through the plastic, you know it's a good rhinestone. If they're not sparkling through the plastic and they just look like little black dots or orange dots, um, not a good look unless they're studs. So we're going to go ahead and pick up our purple stones here. Lovely. Look at that. All right, so I'm going to tape this back. And I'm going to fold it back a little bit so it sticks right on top of my, the other side of the desk there. So on this glass piece here, uh, let me move it. We're going to pull it just a little bit. So now because all these templates are the same size, we're going to go ahead and we're going to actually layer um, the other template on top of this one. Okay. So let me grab the next one, which is the pumpkin. All right. So we're going to go ahead and let me focus in a little bit. So you want to line your corners up and then just bring it, make sure all your, your, your corners line up nicely because All right, perfect. You don't want to stretch it either. Now, once you've laid down the second layer, you're not going to be able to see the other holes on the first template. If you see the other holes from the first template, you didn't lay it down right. So you want to make sure that you don't see the background holes. So now I'm going to go ahead and pour the orange ones. What did I do with those? Those are the tanzanite, and here we are. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Same process. Try not to hit your hot fix tape with any of these rhinestones because it's kind of a pain to peel off. Now the only challenge with this is sometimes you can't see the other holes that are missing. Now I have one right there that's sitting on top of another rhinestone, but I do have some that are missing. So I'm going to go ahead and replace those, the ones that are missing. All right, we got an extra one sitting right there. All right, so, so far it looks good to me. So I'm going to get this little pile of rhinestones out of the way, and then we'll go ahead and pick up this set of rhinestones. All right, guys, so now we're going to go ahead and pick up this set of rhinestones here. Okay, 
So I'm just going to lift up my rhinestone transfer hot fix sheet and then I'm just going to pull it nice and tight just like I did the first time. And so now we're going to pick up this layer of rhinestones. Oh, I like the purple. I really do. Okay, one straggler. So just lay it back down and press it against the hot fix tape. All right, so that's two layers we got out of the way. So let's go ahead and instead of putting a third layer on top of here, it will get awfully thick. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove the second layer because all the boxes are the same size and you're not going to see any of these holes behind this one. Um, we're just going to lay it on top of here. Make sure you have the orientation correct as well. You don't want to put it upside down. And... So I can't see, so I'm going to pause real quick and line this up. And of course, that went rather quickly when I paused the video. So now the last color that I have, I was going to use red because it's a lot closer to the orange. But are pumpkins really red? They're not. They're more kind of yellowish orange. So I guess I'll use the citrine for that. Um, it's not a whole lot anyway, so let's go ahead and just add these on. Okay, I think that looks good. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and pick up this color. I'll put these rhinestones away when I'm done. All right, so the same process. We're going to lift this up off the table. or we're... And then again, we're going to go ahead and pull that. And now we have our third color. Oh, that's super cute, and I really do like the purple on there. So let me grab the background to my... cute is that and you can definitely see the sparkle although these are not diamond cut they are the Korean low lead uh, rhinestones hot fix rhinestones so now I have my rhinestone design for my t-shirt for work tomorrow all right guys that's it thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video and hopefully sooner than later and remember it don't cost nothing to be nice so be nice